The shepherd cannot run at the first sight of danger, he said. There were men with guns in his Guatemalan rectory. He resisted as they tried to take him away from his flock. To keep others in the area safe, he didn't call out for help. He was martyred with two gunshots. This is the story of Blessed Father Stanley Rother. He was a dedicated missionary from Oklahoma who struggled to become a priest, but then strived in his vocation once he received it. Born on March 27, 1935, in Okarchi, Oklahoma, Stanley was one of four children. His parents had a farm, and Stanley spent his time taking care of the hogs and cutting the wheat fields. He graduated from high school at the Holy Trinity School and realized that God was calling him to the priesthood. His parents supported him in his decision, and he ended up at the Assumption Seminary in San Antonio, Texas. More practical-minded than academic, Rother had trouble getting good grades. Specifically, learning Latin was a struggle. At the time, learning Latin was important because it was the language that the whole curriculum was taught in. His struggles climbed to such a height that he was asked to leave after six years of studies. After talking to Bishop Victor Reed, Stanley got another chance and moved to Maryland to enroll in Mount St. Mary Seminary. He graduated and was ordained in 1963. Stanley was an associate pastor for three parishes in Oklahoma before he was granted his request to become a missionary priest in Southwest Guatemala. In order to gain a better connection with his people, he learned Spanish in the unwritten Mayan Tutu Hill language. After a while, he could say Mass in Tutu Hill and even help to translate the New Testament in their native tongue. Stanley took on a simpler life with his parishioners. He visited his people in their one-room huts, ate with them, visited the sick, and cared for them medically where he could. He founded a hospital and supported a local educational radio station. His farming background came in handy as well. At one point, he used a bulldozer to clear land for local farm fields. As Rother continued his priesthood, safety in Guatemala deteriorated. A civil war was in progress, and as the government's military fought the guerrilla forces, the Catholic Church got caught in the crossfire. Missionaries were in close contact with the locals because of their work, and thousands were killed. In early 1981, a parishioner from Oklahoma wrote to the Guatemalan Embassy and accused Father Roller of pushing for the overthrow of the Guatemalan government. Soon after, Roder appeared on a death list. For his safety, he was sent home to Oklahoma. After spending three months stateside, Stanley felt a longing to be back with his people, and he returned in time for Easter. On July 28, 1981, there was a break-in at the rectory of his church. The soon-to-be killers had kidnapped a teenage boy and forced him to lead them to Father Roder's bedroom. Stanley opened the door and struggled against his attackers. Two shots rang out. One shot hit him in the jaw and the other in the left temple. Ten priests were murdered in Guatemala that year. Father Rother was one of them. His body was sent back to Oklahoma and buried in his hometown. His heart was removed and buried under the altar of his Guatemalan church at the request of his former parishioners. Father Rother was declared a martyr in June of 2015 and was formally beatified on September 23rd, 2017. An ordinary priest with extraordinary courage, Father Stanley Rother saw the danger and did not run. Instead, he served his flock until the Good Shepherd called him home.